as we try to apply it to real life, real life, our world situations and challenges, that is where innovation really is sparked. So we don't have to encourage our children to look for the next big bang, but we have to encourage them to look for a problem in their life, find a solution for that problem, take it wider, take it broader. And that is how innovation really develops. These activities nurture critical 21st century skills of problem solving, critical thinking, communication, and collaboration, which have been identified as necessary for fostering innovation and entrepreneurial activities. These indeed, ladies and gentlemen, are vital for Barbados's development, growth, and as the theme says, our resilience. Combining coding, artificial intelligence, gaming, robotics, and other technology skills will provide a base for students to thrive in this technology-driven world. The evidence is clear that the tech sector has been growing faster than any other sector in the world economies. And therefore, we must ensure that our young minds, our young people, are equipped with the necessary skills and competencies to enable them to be active participants in these economies, whether as employers or employees. You hear that song in the background, the children are really excited. They're paying far more attention to that than they are to me, that's for sure. Maybe I should stop and do a little, little break dance. Uh, with the happy birthday song, maybe. That seems to be a hit. Our population must not be left behind in this capacity-building endeavor. It is my hope that this project helps to increase the public's understanding and awareness of the value that science and technology and innovation can offer to Barbados. Therefore, it will offer its assistance in local promotion of science, technology, and innovation efforts wherever and whenever possible. This very pivotal and transformational initiative comes after a two-year absence due to the COVID-19 pandemic. The Ministry is therefore proud to collaborate once again with the University of the West Indies on this project. The University is a natural and strategic partner in MISS science and technology popularization efforts. The University of the West Indies as a tertiary institution has the largest group of faculty and students in the various science and technology related disciplines. Colleagues, it is my heartfelt desire to see the use of the knowledge and skills within the university become a catalyst to contribute meaningfully and significantly to increase levels of innovation within Barbados, particularly in those areas of science and technology that the government has identified as areas of focus for our country and our advancement.